Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this look using all drugstore products or mostly drugstore products, more in the affordable range. I do have products from Maybelline, Revlon, NYX, e.l.f., and Morphe. Morphe is the one that's not gonna be found at the drugstore, but it is considered a more affordable makeup. If you're not new to my channel, you already know that I play around quite a bit and make mistakes, show the mistakes, and I troubleshoot my issues with you so that you can see how I fix it or what I like and I don't like. So I'm gonna show you all of that. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit. The group of women that join me in the comments and in my live chats are so amazing. I want to give a special shout out to Lynn. Honestly, just saying your name, uh, whew, I can't describe what you've done for me, especially over the past weekend. I really needed you. And for some reason, the universe brought you to me. I'm so grateful for the people that I've met and I hope that I can help you like you help me. It's indescribable how special some of my relationships are with you. And the fact that you would take the time to check in on me and encourage me and be my cheerleader, grateful doesn't describe it, honestly. I didn't mean to get emotional, but uh, this weekend has been tough. And Lynn, I wanna send you all the positive healing vibes and good luck with your surgery coming up. And all of us women, I would appreciate it if you would do the same. With all of our love and support and energy and prayers, whether you're religious or not, or you know, just the positive energy that we can send her, I think we can help heal her quickly. I would like to create a community where we can do that for each other. You're never alone. You always have a cheerleader. You always have a group of women supporting you no matter what. The internet is a wonderful thing if you use it for positivity, and we all do here. So I hope that you join us. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, this is how the hair is gonna be. I need my highlights done so badly, so I just stuck it up like this so that I could do it later. I picked these up the other day and I wanna show you what they look like. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Butter Melt Bronzer. I didn't know what color to get. They didn't have any testers, of course, at the drugstore. So I picked up Buddha Days and Butter Biscuit. I'm gonna to try to keep this makeup look on the more affordable side of things. Why do they put a security tag right there? Is that the opening? How do you open this thing? Yeah, they put the security tag. Oh, shopper shrug mark. That's actually smart because then it would take a lot of effort to get this open. But still, it leaves that sticky stuff all over my product. I don't like that. What's the uh, gooby gone? I need the gooby gone to get that residue off now. Yeah. I wish people were trustworthy and didn't ruin products. Then they wouldn't have to do this. I filmed a video the other day. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. It was a screen recording of how different it is shopping at some place like Sephora compared to like Shoppers Drug Mart, even on the brand website. I went on the live chat to ask for help. I purchased a foundation in a color that was too light and it's a neutral. So I asked what color would be suitable the next shade up in a neutral tone and they couldn't answer me. A brand should know or the chat help should know what's neutral, what's warm, what's cool, what's olive, and they didn't know. They wanted me to use the help or the try this on feature. I wish brands like Maybelline and Revlon and CoverGirl, I wish they would get better at that. At least label what undertones they are. That would help a lot. Oh, oh, oh shoot. The display went from right to left, light to dark. I feel like they may have had six colors and I thought, okay, I'll pick a lighter one and I'll pick one that's maybe medium. For an example, for Bobbi Brown bronzer, I'm a medium. So I thought it would be safe, but that is really quite dark. Oh yeah, and it just ripped the whole thing off and left my package all goopy. Mm. I know that affordable is great, but this is why I stick with higher end brands often because the amount of money I just spent trying to find my right color and will I take this back? Probably not. So I've just spent as much as I would on a regular bronzer. Had I just gone into Sephora and you know swatched it myself, on top of that, these drugstores don't have good return policies. So even if I wanted to take it back, I highly doubt they would take it back. This one's but a biscuit. That's gonna be better. Once again, I'm filming with my cleaners here. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about them being here that gives me energy. When somebody's in the house with me, I feed off of their energy. That's the best way I can describe it. Even when my husband's home on the weekend, we don't necessarily have to be doing something together. Just the fact that he's in the house with me gets me motivated to do physical activity, like laundry and filming, all that kind of stuff. Anyone else like that? I don't think I'm meant to be alone. 
Yeah, and there's the vacuum. Oh, she's vacuuming first, that's strange. Maybe the vacuuming will be done quicker this time. Had I been better organized, I would have filmed this morning. But I talked to my good friend, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Credno is my friend from TikTok and I just love her. I love her, I loved her from the moment I met her. I'm determined to get her to grow her channel here on YouTube. She does so well over on TikTok. She's gonna do a live with me soon. We've decided June 6th, we're gonna go on in the afternoon. It's a Thursday. So I have a couple of different options for foundation. And it really, it will just depend on what I match today. This is the L'Oreal True Match, super blendable foundation. Let's see if that works. Mm, that works. Oh, might be a little bit dark. Let's try something else. This is the Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Makeup. This might match better actually. Feels like it's a bit more neutral. Once again, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I'm gonna use the Emberlease Le Creme Concentrate. Why is this so good anyways? Multifunction care for all skin types. It's for day or night. It's hydrating and protecting. It's good for a makeup primer. Good for a beauty mask. Oh, cleanser and makeup remover as well. After sun and after shave care. Water is the first ingredient. What is paraffinum liquidum? It's a very highly refined mineral oil. It should not be confused with the paraffin used in fuel. That's good to know. Stearic acid is a fatty acid obtained from animal or vegetable fat. Palmitic acid, a solid saturated fatty acid obtained from palm oil and other vegetable and animal fats. I thought we weren't supposed to have or support palm oil. It's an investigation. I put timestamps on the video so that you can skip ahead. It's a little sad looking at the footage and I totally understand if you don't wanna look at it. I thought we were banning that because of what it's doing to the animals when they cut the palm trees down. What are the negatives? Okay, yeah. Large scale conversion of tropical forests to, to oil palm plantations has a devastating impact on a huge number of plant and animal species. I always think of the orangutans or the many animals that rely on those trees. In December of 2022, the EU agrees on a new regulation which bans the sale of palm oil and other commodities linked to deforestation unless importers can show production of their specific goods has not damaged forests. Palm oil and related products linked to Simi Darby were banned from entering the U.S. since January 2022 on findings of forced labor. This is not what this video is about. It's not that I'm banning this. Emberlease is not owned by a parent company that tests on animals. I'd be curious to know where they source their palm oil from. If anyone knows the answer, will you let me know? I have made a conscious effort or I've tried to not buy products with palm oil in it does anyone want to help me research it? I don't know how we get the answers to that. So the color I'm using is 220. Sometimes with the longer wear foundations like this, I like spreading it out with a sponge. So I've got a beauty blender. You don't see me use this very often. I'm gonna start off in my tough spot there and just pounce it out. And just shear it out with my sponge down my neck. That's covering nice. I should zoom you in. Sorry. <laughs> I can always do it when I edit. I can zoom you guys in, but it I think is better when I do it this way. Oh my God, my last video. You have to take a look at it. I missed half my forehead. I told a few of you in the comments section. A lot of you said how pretty it looked and I'm like, yeah, but did you notice I missed the whole side of my forehead with foundation? You know, I edited that whole video and I didn't notice. It wasn't until I posted the video that I thought, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I was very distracted in that video. I hope it's obvious, but just to clarify, the reason I went in with the Emberlease, I already had skincare on, but I prepped knowing that this is matte and I have a dry skin. If you do like a matte coverage, you can alter it by really hydrating your skin well. Prep makes a big difference. Difference. Oh, don't forget my nose. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. You may have seen me do this before. I'm gonna use the same foundation as my concealer. I just wanna test it out and see if I can do that. It might be a mistake, I don't know. So I'm taking my Angie Hot and Flashy brush and that is pretty violet in here. The biggest mistake is going too light when you're trying to cover darkness under your eye or a sunspot. It will just look gray. Might be a little bit dark, we'll see. and a little bit on my eye. The product doesn't have to have the name of concealer for you to use it as concealer. It's the same with blush and lipstick. We buy cream blushes, but we could use our lipstick. Women used to do that all the time. And I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and push it into the skin. 
Let's get on to this bronzer now. It feels like a creamy powder. It's got four and a half stars. I should have looked at this first before I bought it because they do have the colors. Buttercup is light neutral. That's the one I should have gotten. Or I should have gotten Butter Me Up. Had I had my glasses on, I would have been able to read what I was doing. Silly. It's infused with shea butter, mango butter, and almond butter. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh yeah, this is gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna use a light brush. If you have something too dark, use a lighter brush. So I'm gonna use the Nikki LaRose N15 and lightly dab. <laughs> I might really be sorry. Okay, and just tap it, oh boy. I'm not gonna bother re-tapping. We'll just see what I can do here. That side blended out nice. Let's see if I can use my sponge to get some off and blend it. Okay, so how do I fix that going on my forehead? I'm gonna dip in again, same amount, but I'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand to get the excess off. You can see, work it into the brush, and then I'm gonna go on my forehead. I wanna start that again a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that foundation, tiny, tiny, tiny bit, and erase a little bit of that because I really want this covered. Can I get it covered? It was covered before, wasn't it? Yeah. My lips. How do I get on here so crusty? Exfoliated, perfect. I'm gonna use the NYX Line Out Loud, and this is Fierce Flirt. For a natural look, Go with the color of your lips and go either the same or a step up, a shade darker. Like you can see that this is just sharpening my natural lip line. If you didn't know that I did this, would you really know? And I could fill this in a little bit just to make sure that whatever I put on it is gonna stay. I could do this and a clear lip gloss. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do just to keep it easy. Some of my favorite lip glosses are the Maybelline Lifter glosses. So I have a clear, which might be really nice with this because I don't want to change this color too much. Yeah, that looks good, right? Definitely makes my lips look more hydrated. You can't see all the texture there now. Carla, this one is for you. I've got the CoverGirl Brow. I think this is the one you're talking about. This is Soft Blonde 720, and it's the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I've been using the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen, and this one I feel like is a little bit softer. See, and in this case, I wanna add a little bit of the pen right in there where I have no hair, right in here. It's very obvious to me that there's no hair there, but if I use a pen, I can make it look, I don't know, a little bit more real. Just because I have a bald spot. I'm gonna go back into the same foundation. I don't know that that was a good idea for my concealer. I just wanted to test it out. And I'm going to fix my surprised brow. You guys are gonna get so sick of me doing that, but it does make a difference. I'm gonna clean up everywhere, actually. Blush. I want to try something. Again, I might be sorry. This is Revlon Colorstay Suede Ink. I have the color of that girl. Putting it on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to dip my brush into it. This is a BK Beauty 106, and I'm going to use it as my blush. Everything that I have on today is long wear. If you have a wedding to go to, a party to go to, if it's really hot weather outside, this is just proof that pigment is pigment. You don't have to go by the name. Now this lipstick stays. Anything creamy and emollient is not gonna stay the same as something that has more of a matte finish, a long wear finish. There are ways to make your skin look dewy and fresh while still using long wear products. I'm gonna use Maybelline Color Tattoo. I wanna get the package off this too. We went and saw another house the other day. It was a farmhouse. The land is beautiful once again, and it's on a hill, which we really like. The house though, stunk so bad. I can't get this off. 
It's a really old farmhouse, so the rooms are very small. One of the reasons I wanna look for something else is to have land, but also to get more light. And the farmhouse that smells, the rooms are smaller as they would have been back in the day. I think it was built in 1863, and the windows are small. So as much as we like the land, we would have to change some things for me to really enjoy living there. So I don't know. If anyone can get it done, it's my husband, but I don't know, maybe something better will come along. It is closer to my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, so that would be nice. And my niece, and I love kids, I'd love to be closer to her. It's not far from a corner store from a little village, and it's not far from Ottawa either. It'd probably be about the same amount of time to get to the mall as it would be from here. Okay, so I didn't go in the crease with this because I want something a little bit deeper. I'll put the color in the description box for you and I will try to remember to pin it at the top of the comments section for you. And I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Rose Gold Shadow Palette. This has really pretty colors. Will this be a mistake that I didn't put it all over? It might be. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna use a Beely brush. Go into this one. It's that in-between weather where you don't know if you need the air conditioning on or the windows open. This room doesn't get a lot of airflow. That's the other thing I would love to change. And of course, I can hear the trucks. I don't think this will be my everyday filming day. Sorry, guys. It's, again, very noisy. Look at my skin. Wait. It takes a while for it to bounce back. Oh, almost there. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, same brush. Why dirty when you don't have to? And I'm gonna take it on the outer corner. Same old, same old. Nothing crazy. You don't have to be really talented at your eyeshadow. When you pick colors that really go with each other, that's the beauty about having a palette. You just know that everything will blend seamlessly. Lift that up a little bit more. Do you know what? I wanna use a pencil. I liked the look that I did the other day. I played around with eyeliner. It was on my live stream. I posted a picture on the community page of what it looked like outside. I really liked the look. I forgot I got this. This is the Colorstay Multiplayer Liquid Glide Eye Pencil. This is the color High Stakes. The good thing about it is I can blend it out really easily. This is a BK Beauty 204, and I'm gonna use it to smudge it out. And lift up. Which one do you like better? It's hard to tell without the mascara. It's pretty cool how it changes the shape of the eye. Gives a little bit of a lift. Oh, it's always different on one side. That's okay. Just pop it up right there. Two different eye shapes and sizes. I think it's okay that that's folding over it a little bit. It's fine. With the same brush, I'm gonna go into this darker color, but I think I'm gonna tap it into both because I don't quite want it that dark, and I'm gonna set it. Do I have a hole there, or is it just the light shining on it? The window's open on this side, so I get a little bit of an uneven light situation, or did I not get it dark there? Let me make sure I get right to the lashes. See? Rich, shiny. Just a little bit in there. It's never gonna look even. This side is a bugger. Let's just spread it up a little bit and see if I can blend that out. This side too. I'm gonna use another Beely brush, dipping into this same thing, more of this, the touch of this. 
just blending out the edge. Like, would I love a nice sharp eyeliner? Yeah, but it's just not realistic for the shape of my eye right now, I don't think. Too difficult and I don't wanna spend the time, to be honest, and this looks pretty. I feel like I need to go out a bit here just to make that even. That's better. If you want to do this, be sure to give yourself enough time so that you're not rushed and stressed when you're doing your makeup. I get so lost in it. My favorite part of going out is getting ready. So give yourself enough time if you can. And if you can't, maybe don't choose something that's finicky like this. I can see that I need to blend this a little bit better or deepen this up, which should I do? Maybe deepen that up. This is how it gets out of hand fast. I'm gonna be sorry, I know it. I like that. So the only thing that I see is I want a bit more color popping up here. So I'm going to use another fluffy brush and this is a Beely. Again, trying to keep it affordable. It is very affordable. And I'm gonna go into, I think this color again. I'm gonna touch the two of them just to make sure it doesn't go too dark and bring it up ever so slightly. Just make sure to give it a lift because if I don't give it that lift, it can tend to make my eyes look smaller and draw them down. I'm gonna use my Refer Lash Curler and there's two. They have different shapes. I want you to see the difference. Somebody with more of a elongated eye would be this one. I bought two because I wasn't sure which one I would be. This is the Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara. It's a good one. I definitely need to fix up under here. I feel like it's looking maybe a little bit dry and a little bit dark. I can brighten that up. Oh, I'm getting distracted again. I feel like I'm a bit textured under there. I mean, I have texture for sure. Raising my eyebrow, I can see how this needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You see? I mean, that's if we're going for perfection. Does it really matter? Not really. Who's looking? If they are, they have too much time on their hands. You're your own worst critic. I wanna create a little bit more. And extend this a little bit. Good enough. This build's really nice. It was Jackie, also a viewer on here, that mentioned this one. Oh, please don't make a mess. A little bit of Sephora coconut, just a little bit. That'd be cool to bring this out here. Who was it? Is it Sophia Loren that has that? Oh my God, is that what this look is gonna turn into? That'd be so cool if I did that. Not in this video, that's not what this is about. That'd be so cool though. I'm gonna take an empty brush and just blend this. Make sure it's nice and clean. Let's take a look. Hmm, I need something hydrating. What am I gonna use? This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Ooh, I can really see texture in there though. That's probably too much. Put it right there. I'm really liking the lips and I really like the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna tap that in. This concealer has a lot of coverage. This is the brush that I used for the blush. I'm surprised that still has some on. I put too much, so I'm just taking some off and putting it on my towel. This makeup feels a little bit more than I'm used to, but I'm dry, and this is a long wear foundation. Little tip, don't talk when you're spraying. <laughs> I choked myself the other day so bad I had to edit it out of my video. Pushing it in again. 
I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. The highlight is Champagne. Okay, I'm taking this sponge right off. You just can't see how much you're squeezing out. Pain and, oh God, it's a mess. You can use your sponge, but I lost it. I don't know how I lose things so quickly. So I'm gonna use my Nikki LaRose N14. Get off. Light touch, I don't wanna disrupt anything that's underneath. Maybe a little bit down my nose. Maybe there. Now I'm just getting carried away. I think this was too dark, so I still don't feel bright enough, but there's enough under my eye, so I'm not gonna touch it. It is what it is. It looks fine. I probably should powder a little bit. Maybe that's where I'll brighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the Morphe Brightening Pink Powder. I used this in another video and I really liked it. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 112. I'm just gonna take whatever's in my lid. I don't want a lot. I didn't contour my nose and I normally don't because it's crooked and I don't like drawing a lot of attention to it. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. This is the light medium. I just wanna put a little bit right there. I hope I'm not sorry. I typically am. <laughs> so it's pointing this way. I wanna straighten it out right here. And already I can see it being more crooked. I'm not breathing. Like, should I even bother? <laughs> I'm not good at this. Oh my. It's hard to stop. Now I just want to get it right. A little concealer. And maybe here. <laughs> well, it definitely looks better now that it's all blended in. I don't know. Does anyone have a perfectly straight nose? You know, and that's not fair too because I've got the window on this side. I feel like this needs to be lighter on this side. Mm. Now it looks like it's curved. If I didn't tell you my nose was crooked, would you notice? The lesson in this is nobody's perfect. Well, maybe you are, I don't know. It's very, very hard to find somebody, especially our age, over 50, that doesn't have some sort of unevenness in their face. I'm happy with the way this turned out. Let me know if you like this look. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.